people. I'm going to be making some eggs for my young lady over here. I'm going to show you the pan that I'm going to be using. I picked it up from Costco Business Center. That's the name in and Turna, E N. Why did I say E N? E T E R N A. Made with. I don't know what the heck that is. Um, so it's a non-stick coating pan. It's got a small handle. Came in a package of two for I think about nineteen dollars or something. Now the reason I wanted to get my mom wanted to get the big twelve-inch pan. The reason we didn't get the twelve-inch pan is because the handle was about three times the length of my hand. It was huge. So I don't know how good this pan is. The price was really good. I like buying pans at Costco. You cannot get this in the regular Costco. You have to go to the business center. The business center is an awesome store. If you're a Costco member, find a business center and go in there. You will not believe what you see as far as food. I don't drink alcohol, but there is tons of alcohol, t massive amounts of soda, uh, paper goods for uh, food trucks, serving containers, uh, pieces of meat that you will never see in a regular Costco. So it's just a fascinating place. I'm going to wash this thing. We're going to test it out. If you like my channel, please do a thumbs up, subscribe, a like. If there's a product you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I will do the review. If you want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. So what does it say on the bottom of this uh, clipper? I don't know what the heck that means. We've got another another thing over there. I don't know what that means. So here we go. Time to wash this. Hello, people. Let's turn on the gas. This will probably look really cool as it flames. up. I should do that in slow motion so let's see what it looks like. All right, a little bit more about the pan. It is labeled in the store as a commercial pan. Uh, I just put it on the scale. It's 1.7, it's almost a pound and a half. One pound, seven and a half ounces. So it's uh, definitely a heavy duty pan. I'm going to be cooking four eggs in here, a couple for me and some for the dog. It, you hear the metal uh, kind of cracking right now or popping. It's, uh, I just washed it. I don't know what the difference is between this and a commercial pan. It has uh, got a non-stick coating. I should probably put a little spray in here, which I really don't, didn't want to do. Um, I wanted to just see how this would work without uh, coating. But, you know, when you watch these people cook, when you watch the, the cooks in the restaurant, they are always using some type of a, a butter or grease or lard so it looks like it's already burning uh, okay I'm gonna say right now I have other pans and when I put when I put an egg in here I don't get that sizzle I never get the sizzle when I put an egg in a pan ever 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 so it's already sizzling and the thing was only on for a few seconds didn't even get a chance to heat up uh, so I'm pretty freaked out right now. I'm wondering what's how is this going to come out? Wow, that's a lot of egg. Normally, if you I think at the beginning of the video, well, you can see the the wok in the back. I take that for a wok sometimes. Uh, I bought that wok. I did a review on that wok, I believe, and I use that. That's my all-purpose pan. I use that for everything, for uh, browning ground beef to making eggs to. It's just everything. It always sits out. Oh, the dog's pushing her dog dish around the floor. She's hungry. She's always hungry. So, um, it's not like I really need one of these pans, but I thought, okay, come on, go away, go away, go away. I thought, why not? You know, uh, my mom wanted one, and it comes in a package of two, so we, uh, we split the thing. She's got a pan, I got a pan. And so I'm testing it out for the first time. Uh, we're going to keep the video on. I'm going to keep the video on for the whole time that I cook the egg because I like to talk and I like to have long videos that ramble on, that ramble and ramble and ramble while I'm making my scramble. My sc No, it's not really a scrambled egg, is it? No, it's not. Um, the pan is really hot and I know that sounds silly. The flame's not even that high. That's why I'm just really surprised. Because the pan is really taking on a uh, just a nice 
it's hot, the, the egg is sizzling. So I want, let me leave this alone. Normally what I would do is I would lift up the egg and I would let the bottom, the, the top of the, the runny part run underneath and I want to see if I can make this thing, I want to see how the top cooks without, if it cooks well and gets firm enough to flip without having to let the yolk and all the junk run on the bottom. And I want to see what it does on the bottom if it doesn't burn it. Because that's usually what happens with, with a regular pan. Okay, so um, it hasn't burned it yet. I think at this temperature with my regular pans it would have just been a mess and I would have been flipping it around and mixing it and making a big mess. So, again, what did I say? It's the Etern e Eterna, E-T-E-R-N-A pan made with PF0A, whatever the heck that is. Oop, the egg's starting to pop right now. Let's zoom in so we can watch an egg cook. That probably looks really cool on a video. Seeing the flame, seeing the hot flame. Okay, the egg's starting to pop right now. I don't want it to burn. Let me go look and see what it's doing. It's not burning yet. I'm really surprised. It's going to burn soon. I'm going to have to flip this thing. Normally, as I said, I use the big pan so I don't have to worry about everything flopping around. Ugh! It, if I knew how to flip this stuff, it, it came out better. i got to admit, it came out really nice. It's kind of a, a very unusual, almost looks like a burned pancake type bottom. And that, of course, is from the, uh, whoa, it did, nothing stuck, and nothing was sticking to the pan. I just realized that. Um, this browning is probably because of the, uh, the spray that I put on there. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. I'm very surprised that this is coming out so well. Because I make okay eggs. You'll notice there's no seasoning on here because the dog is going to get some. I really didn't, I don't like using the butter spray either, but um, let me look at the bottom. Let's see what the bottom looks like. For four eggs, this came out really good. It's beautiful. A, a turna. Costco commercial pan at the business center. It's definitely worth the money. I'm glad I bought it. I use uh, a small pan like this, but not the Eterna. The handle is the handle's kind of warm. Well, the handle's not warm until you get right over to the edge over there. So, that's going to be my review. It's time to go cool this thing down and feed the dog. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, subscribe. Look at that. That's beautiful. A lot more browning than I'm used to, and I think that that's definitely because of the pan. It's definitely because of the pan, and it's a smaller pan. Normally when I make my eggs, it's on a really wide pan, and the yolk and everything gets to mix around, and I never get a nice little burn like on this. It smells really good. Uh, make sure you share this on all the cooking sites 